Welcome, this is Mike Martinez, and again, talking about <laughs> uh, public adjusting services and why it's important for you to uh, uh, employ a public adjuster, all right? Uh, this is a, an article that I came across on uh, Facebook, and I'm um, not, not familiar with, uh, with the website itself, but uh caught my attention because it was a fellow public adjuster that had posted uh, the article and it says bad choice of words proves costly for a family of fire raged home and what that is telling us is this couple uh used state farm and i'm going to put the link to this here and uh, this is actually a video um that you can see so you uh put the the link up so that you can take a look at it but uh this family had a fire in their home uh they they started a claim and within a couple of weeks the uh, state farm uh agent uh asked that the owner of the home go and sit down and answer some questions the gentleman thought he was doing the right thing and uh, brought his legal counsel his uh, his attorney this was in the state of Washington by the way and uh, so they were going through the process of uh, answering uh, questions and one of the questions was do you know how the fire started and the gentleman said no I didn't I didn't know uh, when you'll see the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, the attorney then directed him, uh, directed the insurance uh, gentleman to look at the fire marshal's report. And again, you know, the the insurance agent kept questioning uh, whether this gentleman knew where or how the fire started. And the gentleman again repeated no. And at doing that, his counsel, his uh, attorney, said, "You know what? I uh, advise my attorney, my my client, to plead the fifth." And because of that statement, the uh, farmer's agent said, "We're done here," and actually denied the case from that moment on. And uh, you know, I mean, they were up in arms they said wait a minute wait hold on what are you doing i mean you know we'll answer questions but we already told you we don't know you know uh but to no avail uh the case was uh denied and, and this by the way will give you an idea that number one you want to make sure that <laughs> you know what you're talking about uh number two you want to make sure you have representation and again sometimes lawyers uh may not be the best choice right uh because they don't know how to navigate through some of the questions there obviously uh as was seen in this case and not to say that lawyers are not good or not good to have of course they're good to have they fight insurance insurance companies all the time uh, they know the games that are going on. But in this particular case, that lawyer uh, said the wrong thing. Apparently, in, in a civil case, you don't have the protection of the Fifth Amendment. You can't plead the Fifth. Uh, you have to answer questions. And when you don't answer questions, they think you're hiding something. And they can use that as a loophole to deny your claim, which is what they did in this particular case. So... Uh, these are some of the games that are being played, guys. And uh, take a look at the video. I'm going to make this short, but take a look at the video and see what it is that people are going through, guys. This is not something that I'm making up. This is, you know, I thought I'd share this with you because it's a very, very interesting case. And it just plays on the fact of a lot of the things that we talk about in the videos that I produce that, you know, the insurance companies are not uh, in the process or, or not in profit because of paying out claims. They are in profit because they collect premiums, because they deny claims, because they shortchange people in the claims process. So it is, it is your best benefit 
to have somebody, a public adjuster, to represent you when you have these cases. My name is Mike Martinez. My number is on the screen there. And uh, you can, at any point, uh, pick up the phone and say, Hey, Mike, uh, maybe you could help me. And if I can, I will. Until next time, I wish you the best of success.